welcome, welcome to Pop Culture Carnivores. Um, your co-host Antonio and the man to my right or left is Dan. Hello, I'm the man to the right or left. We've, uh, I'm Dan. Oh, sorry. That's it. No, that's all I had. <laughs> that was the end of my statement. We've uh, been on a bit of a hiatus. Uh, long story short, yeah. I plugged my USB mic into the wrong fucking port, and it destroyed about two episodes Every- or two hours of, of film. Thanks. So uh, I had to take a moment to gather myself and uh, just swallow it whole and get get back on that horse and yeah yeah uh, here we are a lot has happened in that time though, yeah dude, yeah like. so fuck a fuck ton has happened um all sorts of movies all sorts of life events yeah uh dan had a birthday uh, november 25th turkey day yeah yep thanksgiving this year uh we uh i turned 30 so i'm an old ass man now uh picked out an urn uh so you know i'm ready to die whenever it might happen (laughs) i didn't actually do that but i kept saying that uh to my like family and they're like are you serious are you really going to pick out an urn like you guys are all older than me what are you talking about that would be like (laughs) this is very clearly a joke (laughs) like are you really already thinking about dying i was like yeah sure i guess but i'm not like actively trying to make it happen right Right, not actively <laughs> applying for yeah. life insurance policies. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm not taking out a life insurance because I know I'm going to, like, fucking eat it in the next couple years. It's just a joke saying that I'm getting old. That's uh, it. Yeah. That's all. Well, happy belated birthday. Also, um, thank a you. big shout-out to our fans in Germany because while we've Let's been go. away, you guys have just uh, devoured our, our content, and I... I apologize if I mess up the name. Uh, Frankfurt, I mean, Hesse. Uh, so, I don't you, know, but hey, but, shout out Germany. Right, shout out Germany. If you guys are from <laughs> Germany, shout out. If if you're just if, one of our friends using a VPN, fuck you. All right, <laughs> fuck you guys. Please. Why are you why are you using the Ger- German VPN? Right, huh? Exactly. What do they really have on Netflix that you need to watch? Right. Because we're thinking that we're international, but if that's not the case, then we're just continental. Then you're okay? fooling us. Fucking fooling us. And fucking we don't like to be fooled. Exactly. I don't want to be a fucking <laughs> continental breakfast. I want to be a fucking buffet. Yeah, you're but, right. Yeah. Exactly. R.I.P. Uh, buffets, too, man. Fucking COVID? Are they done? Are we done? Did COVID kill the buffets? Uh. I would assume so. I haven't been. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I haven't been to a buffet. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not often like, well, you know what? Buffet. Let's do the buffet today. Like I go to like, uh, like Brazilian like buffet type yeah. things. You ever been to those like a rodizio place? Oh shit. Where they come with like the meat on skewers oh, and they just like like a uh, hand shawarma it to you. kind of thing. Uh, I mean, it's not that type of meat like shawarma is like more lamb but yeah it's like on a big like sword they come by with like big swords of like different meat whether it be like chicken or beef or ribs or steak or chicken hearts or whatever and then you just like okay they're like do you want some and you say yeah, yeah give me a little bit and they cut off a little bit and put it on your plate that's and awesome. then move on yeah, yeah dude rodizia slaps yeah. i'm i'm more used to the uh chinese buffets where it's like it says okay. chicken nuggets but you know it's like substitute chicken <laughs> if that makes sense yeah i gotcha yeah and then the- i like those though because they, they they're not limited to just like chinese food they have like all everything you know they have yeah. like literally everything there so I, I i i i mess with those heavy it's weird. um yeah but let's see other things that have happened i've gone to uh multiple concerts yeah. Like live in person since we last met. Uh, so that's been cool. I went to a concert last week. That's actually this shirt I'm wearing, the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Shout out Beaches. Awesome. Uh, Congrats, man. They were they were a lot of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw, I saw Hallow Queen, which is this band, Jukebox the Ghost. They do a show every year around Halloween where they 
they do a set as themselves and then they come out dressed as queen and then they do a set as queen because like the the singer is actually really good and he can hit a lot of like the freddie mercury notes and stuff yeah uh so it was a it was a really fun show and i just really like the entire time they like sell it as if they're the opening act to queen so they're <laughs> like man got a really big really exciting show you know queen's coming up next and whatever and they like they even play less of their own music and more queen music which i think is just really funny that's awesome. um that's but yeah that, that show was a lot of fun too we went there on halloween dressed up as spider-man you know you know how it be uh I dig it. yeah that was a lot of fun i was uh i was in toledo ohio 419 grits and gravy the mud for about mm-hmm. for a, about a week i uh we went to bg to grab some fucking poly eyes let's go let's go right had the meat kevin up there had to introduce bailey to fucking poly eyes because it's the fucking best oh you you met you met kevin there yeah because i saw kevin was there yeah he, uh, he was there like a couple of days ago I guess too. Something like that. I don't know. He's posted it on like some Snapchat or, or either Snapchat or Instagram, one of those stories things. And I just remember seeing Polly House and I was like, "Damn, I'm hella jealous." Right. But uh, but he, I also saw yesterday that he was in BG with what I perceived to be Wheeler and Holly. Only no, I think that was just an old picture. Oh. I don't think he was with them. I think he was just shouting out their old apartment. Oh. Yeah, no. yeah. No, she is in. Uh, Holly is in. Shout out Holly if she's listening. Uh, she's in California somewhere. Yeah, I, I think, think like L.A. And then Wheeler's in San Francisco. Long. I don't think they're just here for yeah. like the week. He's in. It's a weird. This would be a weird week to go right. up. That's true. Okay. Well then. Yeah. yeah so that's... I think yeah I think he was just shouting out like hey here's the old stomping ground and he just posted a picture of them. Gotcha. I think when he was, from when he was in L.A. Yeah. When Wheeler still lived there too. So. Sh- good on all of them. All good peeps. Shout out all of them. Right. Shout out Germany. Shout shout out all all of our college friends. Shout, shout out, out Dylan Neese, who I saw recently. Dylan Neese. Shout out. What's up, man? <laughs> How's it hanging? <laughs> Fucking Neese. Neese. Neese uh, is the man. Yes. If you're ever in Bowling Green, Ohio, please go to Campus Poly Eyes. Do not go to. Oh yeah. Uh, Pagly eyes, yeah. Pagly eyes, the the, 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 the Bizarro version. Yeah, was yeah the the step kid version. Well, because they were, so they were both owned by the same people, and then those people like split, and then one place got the pizza, and one place got the breadsticks. But <laughs> the pizza sucked. The pizza yeah. always sucked. So you just lost. Yeah. You lost the war. Yeah. It's like no, no. You, you can I, have. I won the pizza. I one time won, like, a gift card to Poggly Eyes and went there, and I was like, this place sucks. Why would anyone go here yeah, when I... you can just get Poggly Eyes, which is so much better? Or if you want pizza, go to Pizzanello's. Shout out Pizzanello's, my old stomping grounds. Oh, yeah. um, dude, I, I went to the Poggly Eyes buffet one time. Like, that was enough. Honestly, I think you probably came with me when I had that gift card because I won it for some like fraternity event and I brought like a few of us. Okay. I think it was like yeah, and it might have been me, you, Alvin, cans. and like Dom or something. Uh-oh. Maybe cans. I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember it being crap. And it was old not good. People there. There's a lot of old people. Yeah, old people. Like, shout out old people. Shout out. Shout out old people. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Granny. <laughs> All right, so we are way fucking off topic, but uh, <laughs> this is this is what happens when you fucking take a hiatus. But we're making it to six seasons exactly. in a movie, bitch. So watch out. Exactly, exactly. All right, six seasons uh, and a movie. So there were some quote unquote blockbusters that came out while we were there away. There were. Um, there were some movies that we we some of us sometimes both of us saw them. Some of them only I saw. But there were some movies that have come out. So let's uh both good and really bad, like really opposite ends of the spectrum on some of these. Right. Most of the movies I saw, I thought were great. Uh, I would say e- I I walked out of Eternals thinking it was the best movie I saw that year, until I seen Encanto or in- Encanto, and mm. and I said, okay, actually that's if if this doesn't win, best picture then 
I don't think it's the. Li- uh, I don't even know. Have they done Oscar noms yet? I don't uh, know when the cutoff date is, but whatever. Encanto slapped. Encanto is so good. We'll talk about that more in a future episode. So I don't want to yeah. touch too heavily on on my feelings on that movie. But I agree that's also probably my favorite yeah. movie of the year. So between that and uh, Mitchell's versus the Machines. Gotcha. I, and actually, another movie that I saw while I was home uh, is I don't necessarily i don't think i liked it as much as either of those movies but i still put it in the conversation and that's ghostbusters the new ghostbusters afterlife with paul rudd and stuff yeah that movie was good like i was very surprised by how much i enjoyed that movie i expected to go it like and i'm not a ghostbusters guy i don't have any ghostbusters things i've seen the first couple ghostbusters like maybe once maybe twice uh but uh, yeah, I'm not like a huge Ghostbusters guy, but man, I think I might be a Ghostbusters guy now because I really liked Afterlife, Damn, and I'm excited to see what they do in the future with that. Yeah. Uh, I never saw the all women's Ghostbusters. I've heard very mixed oh. things about that. Okay, well, I've that that's where I can politely chime in and say I think that was a a good movie. I think it was. Yeah, funny. I I think it, I've heard most like most of the people whose re, whose like opinions I respect on the matter. Said it was it was a pretty funny movie. There were some people who were like, I did not like that movie at all. It wasn't for me. And that's fine. And then there was a bunch of haters online being like, they made the Ghostbusters girls? No Which, one has who cares? a penis? Yeah, yeah exactly. I want to see who penis in my I movies. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't care about that at all. I just did not see it because I just never got around to it. And like I said, I was not really a Ghostbusters guy. Seeing Ghostbusters this time around was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Just me and my brother were just looking for something to do, and we're like, "Hey, yeah. let's go see this Ghostbusters." We yeah, like Paul Rudd. Who doesn't like Paul Rudd? Dude, the um, I'll, I will have to go to somewhere. I mean, I I may have to drive to a bigger city because down here, the big movies don't stay long. Well, the big movies do stay in long, but Ghostbusters might already be it's gone. Not, yeah, may, yeah, might not <laughs> might not be very big. <laughs> yeah. It's like, adios. Uh, fucking. Uh, all right, so. But that'll that'll be like on. I'm sure that'll be on like streaming services probably, or not like you know like Hopefully. the the rent it or whatever, pretty soon. Yeah. Like and, probably within like a month or so. And you saw Halloween Kills and. Yeah, that movie was awful. That movie was just bad. Not good, not good at all. I mean, great. All right. In, in that movie's defense, I will say I am not a horror fan. However, I did see another horror movie in that t- in the time frame that I did like. So, whatever. At, also, f- I don't like any of the Halloween movies. We watched, actually, like, the day be- or, like, a week before we watched Halloween Kills, me and a group of my friend watched the original first Halloween. Yeah. And I had seen it before, and I didn't like it then, and I watched it again, and I didn't like it still. <laughs> uh... Who would have thought? You know, right. sometimes my opinions change. Did not a change there. But uh, Halloween Kills was bad. It was not a good movie. Uh, but I'm excited to watch the sequel because for some reason they announced it'll address the COVID-19 pandemic. And I don't think it needs to. I don't think that matters in the plot line for Michael Myers at all. But that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I can't wait to see how they pull it off. Right. Uh, so yeah, Halloween Kills, bad movie. Uh, but watch it if you like bad movies, uh, cause there's a lot of like really dumb things that will like never leave my mind from that movie. Is Last Night in Soho the other scary movie that you saw? Yeah, yep. Gotcha. That's uh, directed by Edgar Wright, which is the main oh, yeah. reason I saw it. Uh, I'm a big Edgar Wright fan. Obviously, Scott Pilgrim. One of my favorite movies. I've seen like the Shaun's of the Dead and that that whole like trilogy with the Frost and Nick Frost and uh, what's his name and the other guy who's in more things than Nick Frost is, but I can't remember his name right now. Doesn't I matter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the guy the the Shaun in Shaun of the Dead. Um, yeah. So it was is directed by him and it's starring uh, Anya Taylor Joy and um mckenzie something or other i forget what her name is she's in uh jojo rabbit she's the girl in jojo rabbit um and it was a good movie it there's it's not perfect and towards the end i they made me feel like it was going one way and i'm glad it didn't go that way because the way it was going was like am i supposed to like forgive the shitty dudes for being shitty dudes uh and no no i'm not i wasn't supposed to do that and i'm glad i didn't 
Uh, but yeah, it was a weird, weird kind of ending for the movie. But overall, I thought it was pretty good. It, it wasn't like super scary or anything. There was like suspense. Uh, but I liked it. I enjoyed it. I liked the way it was shot. I wish it would have been more Edgar Wrighty, like more, I don't know, Quirky. more interestingly shot than it could have been. Uh, but it was still a solid movie. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Okay, I gotcha. All right. Um, so let's get to the Dune of it all. Uh, this yeah. came out, what, October 22nd? Uh, I don't know. Something, something like that. It, it, Sounds it about right. came out earlier overseas, so they had already had a hundred and they already got their twenty fix. mil um in box and then it, it's already been confirmed that part two would right. premiere October twenty third in twenty Yeah, I mean don't don't 22? don't look at that date and be like, This is definitely gonna happen on this date because everything gets delayed, right? Oh. Especially everything of this like scale. But I guess it's very good that it was renewed for a second movie or whatever, because if it wasn't that really like changes my opinion on the movie. Yeah. Cause as a standalone movie, this is not good. Right? Like at least plot wise. Plot wise as a standalone movie, it doesn't make any sense because it doesn't really end. Uh it almost feels like the pilot episode of a TV show, you know, where like everything is set up for like the next episode, but yeah. the next episode is like years away and not just like next week, which is unfortunate. Uh, but every like the the actual content of the movie was all really good. I thought I thought the visuals were good. I thought the actors did a good job. Like everything that was in the movie, I liked. Other than where they chose to end it. I got you. yeah. I'm, um, I share those uh, sentiments. If that's how you say it, yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, I had I wanted to read the book before I watched it um mm -hmm. the book's 888 pages so yeah this isn't even the whole first book either right. obviously so this is like the first third of the first book uh it's it's 500 five, 500 it took me 500 pages to get to where the movie ends and that gotcha i was i was kind of like okay what the fuck i just read all of this and then that's been <laughs> condensed into two and a half hours and now yeah like I'll pick it back up again just because I've already read more than half of 500 it. Five hundred pages. Yeah. But it was um, it was good. It it like it the movie did a great job of hitting all the the highlights and of course like you had to take away some parts of the the plots mm -hmm. to get there, and it does give you a different um different like it does change the characters how the the mom in the movie she's a bit fragile um mm -hmm. she's like not cagey but she like doesn't know what's going on most of the time and in in the book like that's not that's the opposite of where she is it's it's just in those highlights that's when mm -hmm. she sh shows her like m more human side and that's what made mm -hmm. it but yeah um do, uh timothy is like is he the next brad pitt is he like the next johnny if Depp? You, if you if you ask our buddy clay shout out to clay more shout outs uh he loves Til timothy chalamet his two two favorite actors are robert pattinson and timothy chalamet <laughs> <laughs> so he loves the movie okay. The King because it features both of them. Damn, The King. I'll have to check that out. It's on Netflix. I haven't watched it yet, but I know it's on Netflix, and I know they're both in it, and I know Clay is always swearing by that movie. Dude, yeah, he, he, he must be amped for Batman. Oh, yeah. Very much <laughs> so. Very much oh, so. Uh, also, I, I like how the trailers like made you think that Zendaya was in the movie. Was going to be a bigger part of the movie and not only in it for like two minutes at the very end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought she, I mean, they put her skin in Fortnite too. So I was like, okay, she's going to be like a big character. And she's like, no, nah, she's just in random deep dream sequences like every hour for like 30 seconds. And then she's like at the very end of the movie and that's it. 
But I think she is a bigger part of the plot going forward. Yeah. But yeah, she is barely in this movie. Yeah. Was... Once again, good thing they got renewed for or got like got a second movie because they probably spent a lot of money on Zendaya to do a lot of nothing in that movie. Right. Same with like Dave Batista. Dave Batista <laughs> was barely in that movie. Yeah. Uh, um dude uh what was it? Is it Jonathan Isaac? Yeah. Yeah. No, um, um Oscar Isaac. Jonathan I- Isaac basketball player. Sorry. Shout out Orlando Magic. Uh Oscar <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Oscar Isaac. Wait, I, I yeah, know. Oscar Isaac. Yeah, he he killed it. Um, he was great. Yeah. yeah, I mean he's he's always good, man. I that's one of my guys. Like that's one of my favorite actors right now. I cannot wait for to see him more in the Miguel character in or Spider Man twenty ninety nine in uh, Across the Spider Verse Part One. Oh shit! Yeah, and um, and he's in Moon Knight. Yeah, yep, he's in Moon Knight as well. Yep. And he's in a movie that not a lot of people talk about, but is really, really good, Ex Machina. If you've never seen Ex Machina, I highly recommend oh. it. That movie slaps. Yeah, hell yeah. It has a, it has one of the Weasley brothers, the 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 guy who wrestles with Is the, that a Weasley brother? Not wrestles with, but he's like a, a dragon catcher um i forget his name but he is a weasley uh dom dom hall gleason he's not a is he a weasley i'm like a hundred percent positive he's a weasley i just don't he know. he looks like a weasley he's got weasley face and red hair he's the older one that that gets scratched by a werewolf or like bitten by a wolf or Bill Werewolf. Weasley, yeah, 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 yep, yep. Yeah. Also, I know him from. He's also in Star Wars. He's General Hux, oh, fuck. and I know him from the only episode of Black Mirror I've ever seen. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, he's in there too. But yeah, he's good. And and Oscar Isaac, really good. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Oscar Isaac's the man. Um, do you have a favorite character from the movie, or did you already just... from Dune? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think I have. I think it's really silly that everybody has like, like fantasy sounding names except for the main characters, like Paul. <laughs> everybody else is like, blah blah blah, House of Treaties, and Paul, Lady Lady, just Jessica. Paul. Yeah, Jessica and Paul. Right. And everybody else has, like, crazy names. Oh, Jason Momoa was really good in Dune yeah, 2. We Dune. didn't talk about him at all. Yeah. I like Jason Momoa. Yeah, that was a, that was a tragic ending. Or a, no, well, it was a very good ending. Like, that. that's what Jason Momoa does. He's like, like, you put him in the movie to be real cool, and then if you get a chance, have him fight someone. And then that's all you need. That's that's Aquaman, but in mm-hmm. Dune, I don't know. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. I mean, th- I don't like the Aquaman movie, but I like Jason Momoa in the Aquaman movie. Like, I think he fits that character, and I think he was the only really enjoyable part about that movie. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I just like Jason Momoa, man. That guy just seems like, he just seems like a fun guy. Yeah. Shout I hope out. he is. I hope he turns out he actually is a fat, fun guy. Shout out Jason Momoa. Yeah, shout out Jason Momoa, but un shout out Amber Heard. Oh, dude, fuck her. Yeah, that's uh, he sucks. It's crazy, man. Uh, Did they recast her in in the new? Nope. They're doing another Aquaman. They, yeah. So she's still in it. Yep, she's still in it. And we're we don't even get the crimes of Grindelwald, but she gets to be in. Aquaman 2. I just want the crimes of Grindelwald to like be pushed out. I just I, I saw I saw the one movie and the Fantastic. Well, I saw two, the first two, right? So I saw the first Fantastic Beast movie. I liked. Yeah. I thought it was really good. 
Second Fantastic Beast movie, I didn't like. I thought it was really bad. But the second one also kind of had the same issues that this movie has, where it doesn't feel like a movie. It feels like the first episode in a TV series. And that one, we've been waiting for a long time for the second episode. And also, the content of that movie was not nearly as good as the content in Dune, so... Uh, yeah. Like, Dune is a little bit more forgiving, because I was like, you know what? I enjoyed watching Dune. I did not enjoy watching whatever the first... This Fantastic Beast episode two part... I, yeah. I don't even know what it's called. It was It, was it might be called The Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, I, is it, or is the new one called Crimes of Grindelwald? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, the, doesn't matter. Doesn't the matter. new one's called Crimes of Grindelwald, but they, like, stopped they they either stopped filming it or well they they replaced johnny depp with like mads mickelson or something i like mads mickelson too uh but uh yeah it's just weird i don't know all right so they both suck though like johnny depp has done stuff that he's done bad and and she's done stuff that she's done bad Uh, they both suck yeah it's just i just like johnny depp more it's just fucked up that like she's she's Allegedly using a movement to her advantage, and because she's mm-hmm. in the position that she is in, and she she was the first one to jump on it. Now every mm-hmm. everything has to be um, scrutinized. Everything has to be scrutinized because she was the first one that had the information. So whether whether or not that's right or not, it's what. Mm-hmm. Johnny Depp has to defend, and like that's mm-hmm. he's he's already at a disadvantage, re- regardless if he has circumstantial evidence showing that Amber Heard has been the one ab- abusing him. Right. Like, yeah, I know. It's, it's that that specifically that case right there is a very like weird, sticky s- subject. I don't I don't know enough about it to like. Uh-huh speak one way or another but it is unfortunate like co-opting a movement for your own personal gain which it sounds like kind of what she did uh because there's a lot of people out there who are suffering from shit like that and having their lives ruined from shit like that and uh yeah i don't think that's a, a a very good look but i like i said i don't know the whole story ins and outs so i'm not gonna speak on it as if i do yeah i Obviously, I've been following this a bit closely, so it, mm-hmm. it does like piss me off a bit because. Oh yeah, for sure. It's it's cool. Um, I just hope we we get a third Fantastic Beast and where to find them and like maybe a Harry Potter right. prequel about the four houses. I mean, just I don't know. I I per- I mean, and I understand there's a lot of Harry Potter fans out there, so this is not me trying to to shit on harry potter fans because yeah it is. that's fine i just think we should stop giving jk rowling money okay i can that's my thing we yeah. should stop giving her money because she's a shitty person they're, and they're, uh damn. when she's been called out on being a bad person she just doubles down on it rather than being like well no and like all of her characters in her books and and stuff are all like racial stereotypes and like She's just not a great person. Like, I understand loving Harry Potter as a series because there's a lot of things to like in Harry Potter. But for me, just stop giving J.K. Rowling money. We're just giving... Every time we do, like, another prequel to Harry Potter or sequel to Harry Potter, she gets a lot of money. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, We'll just make something new. Make make Perry hotter, you know? Make make something stupid different, but also exactly the same. (laughs) <laughs> okay I and mean, stop giving her money yeah that's i mean i can't argue with that it's like but listen I, at the same time i've got like you're a big harry potter fan shout out nick again he's a big harry potter fan i've got a lot of friends who are big on harry potter and most of them are on the same kind of like thing where they're like yeah i really like harry potter but that doesn't mean i like jk rowling and i'm like yeah that's fair that makes sense oh yeah i get it i get it to an extent okay so um <clears throat> So Dune, Banger, Eternals. I you said it was a banger, and that's fine. I know a lot of people who also really liked it. For me, it was a manger. Yeah. You know, there was stuff of it that I really loved. I loved uh, 
Kumail just most yeah. of the Kumail's performance I thought was good and I really liked his like guy. I don't remember like his driver. I thought he was really funny. Yeah. Uh I liked the visuals of the movie. I thought there were a lot of cool visuals. Um there were a lot of things I didn't like in the movie. Uh I thought they had way too many characters that didn't really serve enough of a purpose to really belong in the movie. And unfortunately one of those would probably be Kumail. Like Kumail was funny and I enjoyed him, but he didn't really do enough to really warrant him being in the movie. It also in like the big, you know, spoiler alert. Sorry. If, if you are <laughs> not trying to hear uh, what happens in Eternals and I'm not going to spoil the whole movie, but at one point no, there's a big, yeah. uh, there's a big, plot point where they like choose sides and who who are they gonna go with and kumail just is like i'm not choosing a side i'm out and then just disappears for like half hour in the movie and then comes back at the very end as if he was there the whole time which i think was really stupid um and i don't really know why and like people are making it like i, I know the director like chloe Zhao was talking about it and how she was like you know this was a very important choice for his character i'm like yeah but it didn't need it just kind of just seemed kind of dumb seemed really stupid right uh there's a few other choices in the movie that i thought were really dumb and unfortunately my least favorite part of the movie featured brian david tyree or brian tyree henry uh who is probably my favorite actor in the movie because i absolutely love that guy from atlanta and stuff and there's the scene where for some reason he's in hiroshima right after the atom bomb goes off and he's just sitting there like oh no like you could have gotten that point across without having to do that scene. That scene was very tasteless and very cringe. I did not like that scene at all. And yeah, real, real bad scene. There. Oh, man. Okay, uh, so is it is it the fact that he's like at ground zero? It's the fact that he's in Hiroshima and yeah. it's just like, oh, I did this is on me. I did the atom bomb. Like, dude, a lot of real people had their lives completely fucked by this event. And I, I'm sorry, I don't think putting it as a scene for 30 seconds in your movie holds the same weight you might think it does, because it doesn't. It just makes it look really tacky and makes you look kind of shitty. <laughs> that, that's that's my my like feeling on that scene. Uh, I was not a fan of that. But And they could have expressed this sentiment... With like, you know what? I advanced technology too fast to the point where they created the atom bomb and I fucked up and that's on me. Without having to sh- literally show him on the graves and ashes of what's supposed to be Hiroshima. Yeah. I just think it was really bad. Really bad look. Um, but yeah, so that that I really didn't like. And then there's... I liked the post credit scenes for different reasons. I thought the first one with... Uh, I'm not going to say too much about it but you can say uh, it. thanos's brother thanos's brother showing up i'm not gonna say the actor who plays him because i thought that was just really funny that mm-hmm. honestly to me when i was like what is he doing here why is he here i thought that was funny uh, uh because harry styles and then there was the second uh, okay yes harry styles is thanos's brother the whole time the whole time harry styles has been yeah, I know, but there's still people who haven't seen it. And I'm not trying to, you okay. know, tell them everything that right. happens. I'm sorry. But regardless, yes, now it's been spoiled. Spoiled alert. It's done now. <laughs> Harry Styles plays Thanos' brother for some reason and just shows up at the end of the movie being like, hey, guys, it's me, Thanos' brother, Harry Styles. What's up? And then that scene was just weird. And then there was the second scene, uh, which I liked just because you could hear Mahershala Ali in it and he's Fucking playing blade, blade in the future and that's hype so that's cool um i'm interested to see where that little plot line goes and uh yeah yeah that that part i was cool with also another thing that happened in the movie that i thought was really stupid was uh when icarus flew directly into the sun because <laughs> of the whole icarus yeah i thought that that flies was too cheesy. close to the sun but then he was just like, I must repent, and fucking <laughs> shoots himself directly into the goddamn sun. And I was just like, really, guys? We're doing this. Okay. All right. Sure. Right. You, um, you. But no, other than that, the movie was okay. Like, it was not terrible. It's not the worst Marvel movie. It is probably better than, like, Black Widow, but... And it's definitely better than Incredible Hulk and... Uh, 
and Thor 2. So people who are like, this is the worst Marvel movie, need to re-watch those movies because those movies are not good. Right. And both of them are, like, incredibly, like, dark and not, like, ooh, dark, gritty, but, like, dark as in, like, they forgot to pay for lighting when they were making these movies and you can't see stuff half the time. Uh, yeah, no, those movies sucked. But this movie was fine. It was, like, I, I gave it, like, I think on our little Marvel tier list we have upstairs, I think I gave it, like, a C, C or something. Okay. That's not bad. So C- where C was B, that, like that at? Like, like, what other movies are in that range? Like I said, Black Widow is probably there. Uh, maybe Captain Marvel might have been there. Uh, maybe the first Thor was there. Do you think it was? I better? Actually, I think I put I think I put Thor at the bottom. I I liked when watching the original Thor. I was like, okay, this movie isn't that great. But then, re- wa- like watching the second Thor, I'm like. I realized that I don't care at all about any of these characters, so I really don't like Thor as much as I thought I did, so that I moved that one down. But then I watched Ragnarok, and I was like, oh, wow, instantly I care about these characters again. Crazy how, how a fun movie can do that. Yeah, they, um, like, it took about, it, it took three movies for Thor to catch his... Well, I mean, it, it took a change of director. The director of uh, the first two movies was definitely not the director of the third movie. The third movie was directed by Taika Waititi. Hell who yeah. Makes fun movies. Like, lo- love him or hate him, the movies I've seen by Taika Waititi, I usually enjoy. Wait, why? Like I, why would people hate him? I don't know. Oh. Because too hammy sometimes, maybe? Uh, yeah. Fuck but I, I, don't, I don't know anybody who hates him specifically, but I just said it. Just in case, uh, I I just think yeah I don't know I I like him I I enjoy his stuff okay. I haven't seen Free Guy yet but I know he's in that I have Free Guy I haven't watched it yet though if you get a chance to watch Reservation Dogs that's direct mm-hmm. co directed or yeah directed is he by him. is he directed or produced maybe produced then yeah. Uh, I mean, it could be both. No, he's uh, written. He wrote it. Didn't didn't direct it, didn't produce it, but he did write it. Or co-write it. There's three people, writers. So, yeah, there you go. Not produced, not directed, but written. Gotcha. Um... Um... Yeah, so... Yeah, I haven't checked that out, too. That's another thing on, uh, on my list. Uh... I th- I think it was better than Captain Marvel. Um, Marvel Captain yeah. Marvel was yes, Brie Brie. I, I is well, yeah. I don't I don't great. I don't have a problem with her as the character. I like Brie Larson a lot, and I don't. I just didn't like the movie that yeah. much. I think the movie is okay, but I think it suffers from a lot of the same problems that Black Widow does. Whereas it came at a time where people wanted new stuff. And, like, to just be like, we're going to go back in time now and show you stuff that doesn't really have any implications on what just happened. It just doesn't work super well. Yeah. Um, and and I think that's why both, uh, both of those movies suffer. I mean, I think Captain Marvel is probably a better movie than Black Widow, though, to be fair. Yeah, there's, there's definitely, it's a lot more story to mm-hmm. it. Yeah, and like the scrolls, I think are fun. Yeah, and stuff like that. And uh, Black Widow didn't really have much of that. I liked Florence Pugh in Black Widow, so I'm excited Pew. to see what she does in the future. Yeah, Pew Pew. Uh, but I didn't really care about much else about that movie. It was it was just fine. It was just fine. Also, um, Florence Pugh's married to uh, Zach Braff. Zach. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. From uh, Scrubs. Yeah, Scrubs. Garden State. Yeah. From from his dad being uh, one of my brother's professors in law school. Name drop. <laughs> Zach Braff and his dad don't get along yeah. very well, I don't think. I think that's what the whole movie Garden State's about. Um, I'll have but yeah, anyway. to rewatch that. Man, fuck. Yeah. Anyways, I thought e- Eternals was... A banger. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I thought it was a manger. Like, I, there's parts I really liked, and there's parts I didn't. 
what I what I yeah. enjoyed about the movies that um well first off Druidge and uh M- Macari or Macari okay. like they if if they could have made the movie about their romance yeah they were barely complete, in the movie right they be, were barely in the movie and at the end they were together and I was like this wasn't really like fleshed out like they didn't need to be here that's the thing a lot of those characters didn't really need to be there like peter pan girl didn't really need to be in the movie for most of it she didn't really do much and then even though she was on the opposite side when they split teams she still was like a good like they were just like ah dude we get it dude you made your decision it's cool we're all we're all friends still like I know you were trying to kill us or whatever, and we were trying to kill you, but we're all chill now. We're all chill. We we mind linked with the fucking god under the in the earth's core, and we're all chill now. We're all good. Yeah. Um. So, I I, I think that maybe why they they got these big name faces is be, because the actors themselves to flesh out further the story later. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That too, and because they needed to like make you care about these characters in a short amount of time i was i was pissed that Selma hayek was like already dead but mm-hmm. like that's yeah and happens. then like you have angelina jolie's character who her and gilgamesh had like a compelling storyline sort of but it was never really like the main focus yeah and because of that, it suffered. The, the only story that was like the main focus was uh, Cersei, Ceres, Cersei, Cersei, yeah. and Icarus. Yeah. And sure, but that was like the least interesting of the plots. They were just like the two important characters yeah. for this movie, which I don't know. Yeah. Like I said, I liked it. I didn't love it. I'll probably watch more Eternal stuff in the future and hope I like it more, but all in all not my not my favorite marvel not my favorite marvel. Yeah, it's um so with... also i think it's really funny that the eternals are just essentially ju- the justice league it's like literally they like they all have the same like icarus is superman uh wonder woman is as angelina jolie's character uh brian brian david Tyree's character is like cyborg like it's just the justice league there's a water guy it's just that's all it is it's a little different than that um it's not it's (laughs) it's not that different they have a flash they have a really fast girl it's the justice league it's just Uh, justice league with different paint well jack kirby did they they are similar to the new gods that he mm-hmm. did for DC so he made the e- Eternals when he went back over the Marvel Marvel yeah so there's the sim sim similarities there or I don't know okay but in the comic book they they all have like the same powers but mm-hmm. you can't do that in the movie so they did make Icarus Superman and it like it also I think it's really funny another thing about this movie that the DC universe does now exist within the Marvel universe like Batman for some reason in this universe where they have real superheroes that they see all the time there are still comic books of fake superheroes that don't exist like what's the point of that yeah (laughs) <laughs> that's interesting batman alfred and superman all exist because they are all name dropped within this movie which is really silly to me um but whatever because also uh, i guess marvel exists in the dc universe because i saw a trailer for the the crypto dog movie like the uh superman's dog oh shit has a like yeah there's a movie about superman's dog and superman's dog is voiced by the rock and at one point, Superman is ironing his clothes, and they're like, they should call me Iron Man. Ha, 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 I'm like, really? Okay, I guess. Guess we're doing that now. Guess we're all friends now. That's interesting. Um, that would be, like, 
That would be crazy. Give me a DC versus Marvel f- movie or video game. Actually, video game. Give me a fighting game that's DC versus Marvel and is not made by Mortal Kombat, and I'm in. Okay. It's uh, going to be made by, gotcha. unfortunately, it will 100% be made by Insomniac and, uh, or not Insomniac, uh, Nether Realms, who makes Mortal Kombat. And it'll be, I'm sure it'll be fine. I just don't like the way those games control, so I prefer it to be more of like a Marvelous Capcom style. Yeah. But yeah, that, but that's neither here nor there. This is a game that doesn't exist. Yes. Or maybe it will. Who knows? We'll find out tomorrow. Yeah. Um. In the, in the ninth, in the 90s, they had Marvel and DC storylines. Comics, so like, yeah. There was like a comic, yeah. Intertwining, but that's cool. Um, mm-hmm. e- Eternals is... I, it it does take a lot of risk, and you don't necessarily... Yeah, you like, sure. ...forget that you're in a Marvel right. movie. Right. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily feel like a Marvel movie until the very end when it does. And that's the issue with, with a lot of Marvel things recently where I'm like... Oh wow, they're doing something interesting and different. And then it's just like, just kidding, big superhero fight at the end of WandaVision, you dummy. Yeah. You stupid. <laughs> That's why I like Loki, because Loki, the last episode is just Jonathan Majors talking for like 20 minutes and then like a sword fight that lasts like two seconds and then it's over. You know, it's not, there's no like, we got to use all of our powers. Blast, that was blast. Sad, though. That was really sad. Loki. Um, another thing that I started doing when I was home, uh, me and my brother started watching the Wheel of Time show. Oh on Amazon. shit! I'm, I'm pretty sorry. good. Pretty good Let's so go far. Ahead. Hell yeah! Um, are, are you are you watching it at all? Or no? Um, I wanted to read the books before, but then I realized there are fourteen of them. So oh wow! All right, yeah, maybe just watch the show. I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll probably just watch the show then. But uh, there's not there's only like I think five episodes out. We uh, I watched four with my brother, and then since I've been back here, I watched the first two again. Okay. Um, and it's good. I think it's pretty well done so far. Uh, the CGI is really bad at times, but that's the only like issue I've had with it so far. Damn. The CGI is like really bad at times. Like it looks really bad. Like there's these uh, things called Trollocs that you see early on in the show, which are like. Like, big orc, troll, minotaur-looking things, and they look awful. They look real Damn. bad. But it's fine, because, like, the magic CGI looks good, right? They do a lot of magic in the show. It's kind of, it's. I mean, it's not like Game of Thrones, other than the fact that it's, like, a fantasy setting. Um, but, yeah, they do magic, like, they do, like, spell casting and stuff, and that all, that all looks good, so. Good shit. Um, so, I think... With that, we we've caught you guys up to yeah. where we are, um, where where we are in life now. We, what we have seen, we briefly heard. mentioned Encanto because we'll elaborate. Yeah. Encanto is going to be we'll we'll talk about that more soon, yeah. very soon. TM trademark soon, uh, but yeah, I didn't want to go too far in depth with that because why why talk about it for a bunch now if we're just going to talk about it again in another episode? Exactly, yeah, yeah. and we might talk about other animated films as well just because the uh, i think luca is luca would be nominated in the same year or yeah yeah next luca year. was luca was good i mean encanto was way better but luca was all right yeah. luca was good it's soul was also i think soul yeah. also might be right i don't know when if soul was nominated last year for the oscars or whatever but soul was also pretty good once again, I do think Encanto might have been better, but but also, I, I, animation as a whole is is the most underappreciated work of art that there is, and it's really frustrating that animated movies are considered like kids' movies, even though that animation is just a style. Like it doesn't a it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a kids' movie, and b who cares if kids can watch it or not animation as a style is really cool and i think animation should get more love and also this is a shout out to the animators and people in animation right now that are like on strike or dealing with that trying to get uh animators and people who work on animated movies better wages and better uh more money and i agree with them wholeheartedly because the amount of effort that goes into making an animated picture is incredible 
and uh, these these are works of art that should be treated just like any other movies. Uh, so yeah, so shout out to them. Hopefully they uh, they get the money they deserve and uh, the benefits that they deserve and are treated like actors, which they are. Amen. I mean, if they're the actors, if they're the animators, then treated like the people who make the movie. Because like, I don't understand like why everyone hates like we watch the marvel movies which are like basically 80 percent animated anyway like if you watch like endgame or 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 like uh like uh, infinity war or whatever like those are just animated movies for the most part with like live action people most of the stuff in the movie is animated even to the point where the suits that they wear in endgame you know those suits that they time travel in? Yeah. Those are CGI. That's that, what? Yeah, that's They didn't that's know how they wanted to make the suits, so they're in CGI suits. They're in green suits that they later changed to look like what they do in the movie. That's so wild to me. So yeah, so yeah, pay animators. Let let animators and then that'll only make animation better do you not understand that it's we're already at like such good animation i can't imagine it getting better but it'll make it better if you just allow them to be better also stop remaking everything that's animated into live action just because it's animated doesn't mean it has to be in live action i'm looking at you disney amen yeah all right that's it that's all i got <laughs> so that's all i got in the animation front. thanks all right well uh thank you guys for joining us sticking in there and we'll see you guys next week shout out germany again yep shout maybe out by next time i'll germany. learn some german for y'all yep i don't know any and i don't want to disrespect the culture yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pretend to that i know german but uh because i yeah like right. <laughs> like you said i don't want to disrespect them either so shout out shout out germany awesome peace